Hey guys, and welcome back to Alone in the Dark. When we last left off, we climbed down a rope, and <clears throat> we had an interesting little scene where Obed Morton apparently has been experimented on and dragged his brother to an untimely end. Anyway, let's continue, because I'm sure nothing bad's going to happen. Uh, our friend... Our partner has the other statue. So, actually, he has the other statues, and we've just found the last one. So we need to get back him, get back to him, so we can perform the ritual. And I need to check something here. One second, guys, because my controller is being strange. And we're back. Right, cool. Thumbstick cover thing. Ooh, shit. Has been recovered. I was not expecting a big random scorpion up in my face, mind. Uh, so, what the hell is this? I didn't know the Abkansas embalmed their dead. What a discovery. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Oh, God. You've really got to stop sneaking up on me, dude. Really not cool, okay? Really not cool. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so he was the last god to go into battle. He drove the creatures of the night back into the innermost depths of the earth, but realized that absolute victory was impossible. Thus decided to create a new race of guardians. He chose the species that to him appeared most suitable. Early man and taught him the uh, invocation rituals, but saw that man misused his new powers to rule the world. The god decided he was powerless to save the earth and left to fight another battle in another universe. But to those who had betrayed him, he left one last chance. He created a vast chasm to contain the evil creatures, which he tightly sealed behind gates. But we, mankind, driven on by our insatiable thirst for power and knowledge, we betrayed him. A second time, by studying his sacred writings, we managed to open the gates. Now we are prisoners of our own homes, sitting, waiting, powerless to prevent the creatures of the night from returning to take our lives. Some of us have chosen to reunite and revive the spirit of his ancient wisdom. We await him with patience that he might return to us the power we have lost. As a guardian, I have lived and fought. As a guardian, I have died. With light, I have battled in light. May I find peace. Oh, God. Uh, Hecka, Saka, Shitter. I shall take my place beside you. High in the ferment of eternal light. Peaceful in the knowledge that the gates never opened and that the creatures never came beyond. I drove them back into their eternal lairs, back into their cavities of darkness. My death means that the guardians of this gate and all other gates, past and future, will be able for always and eternity to fulfill their role with peace and serenity as they await the return of the mighty gods. May light shine upon thee. Doesn't, uh, doesn't sound like the gods are going to come back, dude. They kind of did their voodoo, uh, rested on this planet for a bit, and then buggered off. So, oh, Jesus Christ. The hell was, I didn't even see this thing. Just started, like, floating up into the sky. That was a bit naughty game. That was very naughty game. Let's have a couple of swigs of our holy water there. Oh god. You can't even see these things before they attack. That's not cool, man. Miss Cedric, this is Johnson. What? Johnson? How dare you? I just spoke to Carnby. You are such a scumbag. Making me think Obed Morton was my father. I had no other choice. Sam absolutely wanted you to go to Shadow Island, and 
first, I believed it concerned the tablet. But then I realized he only wanted to get rid of Carnby and you. Because you were the last two people who might get in his way. As for the translations, he'd have gotten them from the Obed Morton anyhow. What about the picture? It was doctored. Damn! What kind of work do you really do? I work for the government. I was asked to infiltrate Lamb's organization, but it appears my cover was blown, and he sent his hitmen after me. You see, this is tough on all of us. I manipulated you, but was manipulated myself. All I can say is that I'm sorry. Now you will have to trust me. I'll try and get you out of there in an hour or two. In the meantime, hang in there. I don't need your help. Over. Yeah, we kind of do. Okay, let's go. Oh, hello. What the hell is that? Okay, we're in the water. Right. So, we were screwed over pretty badly. But that's okay, because that seems to be what this game's about. Getting fucked over. Right, well, let's see. Oh, this... this place does look cool though these waters look like they're really nice and warm and lovely and mm, nice place for a bath i suppose so i can't help but notice our sound effects are very dry and crunchy where you would have thought it would be oh fuck you would have thought it'd be very sloshy Yeah, you would have thought this water would be sloshing around, not crunching. But hey, I don't know, man. Mystic ooh. Mystical evil voodoo water, I suppose. Uh and random music suddenly started playing. Because why not, I guess. <laughs> right, well that wasn't the right way. It'd be nice if there was some stuff down these wrong ways. And I do want to play the reboot, the 2018 reboot after this. Because, oh man, I've heard that that game is a bag of penises. And, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm really curious. I remember being a little bit hyped about it back uh, for the 360. But, uh, I guess... You know, I've just listened to Pro Jared's review of it, and, uh, you know, he doesn't say it's that bad, so I'm going to give it a go. Johnson here. For Christ's sake, Johnson, if you're really with the government, warn your superiors, call in the army, do something. I can't. I've no authority anymore. Lamb burnt me. Carnby told me Lamb had the translation. I gather you know what that means. Yes, that he has the power of opening the gates of darkness. The gates of darkness. I discovered that Lamb has located two other gates. No, that's not possible. Tell me this isn't happening. The helicopter pilot tells me we'll reach you before sunrise. I'm begging you, don't give up on us now. I want to break your jaw so bad there's no way I'm giving up yet. I mean, that's fair enough. Would have been nice if these things weren't, uh, you know. You know. Really? They actually hurt us in that cutscene. Or that little transitionary scene there. They actually hurt us. Well, that's some severe bollocks. So there's more gates around, is there? That doesn't bode well for anybody. How much is left? 53% in the battery. Okay, cool. Now we need to go... Uh, that way, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we should be able... Oh, God. Hang on. Yeah, we should be able to just go this way and back out, right? 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 I don't know anymore.
Uh, yes, question mark? Yeah, it's got to be right. Ooh. Okay. What, pray tell, has that done? Well, whatever it's done, we're going the wrong way, apparently. Ah, I see. Well, that was fortuitous. Ooh. My girl. My little baby girl. Stop. Don't listen to him. Shoot. Shoot. Oh, my God. Daughter, would you dare shoot your own father? You're not my father. Nobody is my father. <laughs> Uh, something's your father. Um, shit. Yeah, uh, okay. Can we kill this thing? I have no idea. Well, it's doing something. I don't know if it's doing much. Oh, God. Uh. Alright, well, that. We can't actually hit it from that side. Um. Let's use this thing. Yeah, that other gun didn't seem to do a whole load of much. Okay, so it looks like we're just knocking him back. I think? Maybe? Maybe that is actually hurting him? I don't know. Um, if it is hurting him, it's not doing a lot of damage. Yeah, I don't know, Chief. That's all we've got. That's all we've got. Uh, can you die now, please? No, I guess... Okay, so whatever we need to do... Uh, grenades? Maybe? Okay. I mean... The grenades do damage. I don't know what damage they exactly do. Um, hmm. Hmm. Let's give Calmby a ring. No, we can't. Okay, this is problematic. We have no power left. we really not kill this thing? Can't really hit this thing, let alone kill it. Nope, we're out. Oh, shit. Okay, do we have any items? Damn. I, I don't understand why we can't uh, look at this thing. Even if we, like, split it. We can't even split it. Okay. Uh, we can't use the tablets. Right. Uh, I guess we're not going back that way, then. <sighs> Is there a way to get crystals? Uh, well, that's the way we originally came, I'm assuming. Let's put a save down so we can experiment. I mean, we've got a lot of these save crystals, so let's do that. 
Okay. Now. We must... Oh, guess we could use the rocket launcher. We haven't even used the rocket launcher yet. Alright, let's reload you. Ah, that's the rocket launcher. Right, let's give this thing a go. Uh, yeah, don't think that actually did anything. Which is curious. Uh, right, yeah, I don't know what that rocket launch is about. Ow. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything with this guy. Or can we? Can we? A torch doesn't do anything. Uh. Don't think we can go any other ways. Either. doesn't bode well. I mean, we're kind of hurting him because he's doing that turn invisible thing. But I don't actually think we are. Right, that's all of the rockets used. I guess we can give him some shotgun. Oh no, we're dead. Lel. Think? Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> um... Right, okay guys, let me have a think about this. Okay, so we're back here again. Um Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blow it out your ass, dude. So I'm assuming that we've just gotta kill this guy, but I've tried getting around him. Or like pushing him or doing something with him but it just doesn't appear that there's really much you can do to be honest where are we on the map right we are technically over the other side but see this is my there's nowhere to go so I don't know we're just going to, like, use everything we have and see if he does finally die. Just going to redo this. Use every single ounce of weaponry that we have in our arsenal. Because luckily, we should be able to reload and recharge quicker than he can actually hurt us. Which, uh, maybe... It's true, I don't know. Right, what's the next best weapon? Probably the grenade launcher. I mean, see what I mean? Like, we can stun lock him here. Which is nice. But, I don't know if there's enough ammo in the game. Just literally, continuously wail on his face. Until the man falls down. If indeed he's going to fall down, kind of hope he is. I mean, if this dude's the last boss in the game, uh, which I'm guessing he's not, because it's not really a boss, is it? Um, yeah, what are we going to do after this? We're going to have, like, no weaponry left. And we need... Not only to reload our weapon, but we also need uh, some health. Okay, cool. Maybe we can't kill him. That's concerning. Shit, if we can't kill him, maybe we do actually just have to get past him somehow. And if that's the case... Uh, I 
don't know how we're going to get past him. Like, no fooling, guys. I guess if this fucks up, we can just look it up, I suppose. Um, Because this isn't going very well. I mean, he doesn't look that bothered by it. He's just standing there without, you know, his shit given. He's just taking everything we're throwing at him. And smiling. Pumping grenade after grenade after grenade. Ooh, last one into his ass. Right, that's all the grenades. Uh, I... Oh, God. I guess we're going to try the rocket launcher now. Yeah, I would assume that this rocket... Hey, have you noticed something? We haven't, until this point, needed to use the rocket launcher. Like, at all. But it doesn't seem to be where we're intended to use the rocket launcher. Because it does nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we're supposed to kill this thing. So... Like... So what do we do then? Okay. Um... What are we supposed to do here? Uh, we've only got one weapon left. I hope we don't need all this ammo. I don't really hope we don't need all this ammo. Oh! Really? Fucking really? You just wait for him to hit you and then walk past? Have I just literally wasted all of my ammo? Uh, well... I guess, I guess if it's that easy... Oh, he's coming this way. Yeah, this gun's just not hitting... Yeah, this gun just... Okay, that one's shit. Let's just run away for now. Uh, unless there's like some ultimate weapon that we get in a minute. And these are the statues. There's a lot of dead people here. Ah, right. We've got to put our statue down, I suppose. You place the head of the statue on the bust. Ooh. I have the statue. Uh, dude? It's about to collapse. Run for it. Uh, I don't want to worry you, but there's like a dude chasing us. No? Not going to worry about the dude? Now they run. Come on, climb in. I wasn't just going to stand there and watch it fly off. <laughs> he looked pretty happy to get slapped, to be honest. Mr. Pittsburgh, you are a geologist specializing in what 
signs is called plate tectonics. Could you tell us more about what's happened? Shadow Island is situated precisely on the crest of a minor fault line. This fault line suddenly spread by a dozen or so meters, and the island literally retired. Miss Wallace, you can send Fishburne his nice hidden reward. So that's the end of the game. So Oben like blocking our path was the final boss. Okay. That was interesting. Yeah, um I mean technically I suppose we've only played one half of the game. Uh, not bad, actually, to be honest. I really enjoyed it, I think. Pretty sure. It's definitely better than... It's interesting, actually, I was going to say. It's, it's definitely better than a lot of the other Resident Evil clones. But, of course, you could say that this is actually the OG. Um, you know, Alone in the Dark. And... Uh, it was good. Uh, I enjoyed the story. I thought the story was like one of the more interesting parts of the game, actually, because it wasn't your just your generic zombie fair. Um, there was actually, you know, some mysticism and some, uh, you know, kind of like religious stuff like thrown in there as well. But it was done quite nicely the way it was tied into the Indians, even if they are, from what I can understand, a fictional um, band of Indians. It, it was cool. Um, a lot of history going on as well, which was interesting. I think they could have spread some of the journals out a little bit more. Um, you know, because sometimes we had a good chunk where there were no journals, you know, for a video or two, at least from what I can remember. And then all of a sudden you'd get given like a 70-page manuscript, which was a bit much. Um, the main character, Eileen, was okay, I guess yes it was interesting that she was sent to the island uh, looking for her mother or her father i should say um only for that to turn out to be a load of old shit that was a whole ruse that was interesting i didn't actually see that coming um hmm the weapons were a lot more interesting than i thought they would be as well you know, uh, I was not expecting to get lightning powered like plasma cannons and things. Uh, the triple barrel shotgun was a bag of ass. That was a terrible weapon, as was the revolver. But I think we could have killed a lot more of the enemies than we actually did. We could have had a bit more fun with the weapons because there's definitely more ammo. In fact, there's plenty of ammo. There's a, there's a ludicrous amount of ammo in this game considering there's no actual final boss really uh ah huh. i mean technically even uh well what would have been the final boss uh the guy that we killed via the lightning rod we didn't even need to shoot him with anything i mean when we first met him we had to put him down with a grenade launcher but that was it. That was literally... Yeah. Ah, interesting. Yeah, the combat, the actual weapons kind of took a bit of a back... Back seat. Hmm. I did enjoy that. Um, I did. And I'm very much looking forward to playing the second part of the story. I will say visually the game's held up rather nicely. The character... Well, <laughs> until things start moving. The enemies are quite interesting. Uh, I do like the fact that they're actually real creatures. They're not, um, you know, ghosts or anything like that. Or, you know, they actually are um, an ecosystem of beasts, uh, which I'd actually like to know a little bit more about. But from what I can understand, the game that came out after this is actually a reboot and it kind of, you know, pretended all the old games didn't happen, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, it's not a scary game at all, uh, but I will say the static backgrounds are 
absolutely incredible and have held up very well. Huh. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. I have. I'm definitely, definitely going to look forward to playing as Kambi next time. So, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, until next time.